Hello and welcome to another HP Gaming Game Link video. I am Matt and this is of course Charlotte. And we are here to do another unboxing for you today. Uh, it's been a little while, we've been a bit busy doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Uh, working on stuff mm -hmm. for the Patreon page, working out what live shows we're going to be doing, mm -hmm. working on some playthroughs as well which we're very excited to present yes. to you later on. Also working on some top 10 and top 5 lists. I um, just do my top Five? Yeah, Charlotte's been working on a top five video, so we'll be present that, presenting that to you at some point. Uh, but right now we are going to get into a bit of an unboxing. And today we are going to be Dream unboxing Home. Dream Home by Rebel Studios. Uh, it's being distributed by Asmodee. It's a game for two to four players. It plays in about half an hour, yep. ages seven and up. Um, this one here is all about uh, Dream Home renovation, I guess. Yes. So if you like shows like House Rules, The Block, that sort of stuff, this is the one for you. And, and it has a house on the front, you can it see. It does have a house on the front. It's got lots of cartoon art yep. style, which we sort of really like. Let's show um, them the back. Yeah, you can have a look around and show the back. That's the back of the box there. Um, yeah, so it shows you how to set it up. And there's going to be little tokens there. And we might do a playthrough, just one. Now, we'll see. We, we may not get it done today, but we'll try and get it done for you down the track. Now, this yeah. one here uh, is a little bit older. It's been, out, been around for a couple of years now. But um, it's one of our games that we're going to be yeah. using for our demos when we do our showcases. So if you're not sure what they are, uh, hit us up at the website, hbgaming.com.au, and click the little showcase link at the top there. Uh, and you'll be able to learn all about having us come out to your house and play some great games, of course, once the restrictions have been relaxed. But yep. uh, I'm talking too much. We should open it, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yes, we should. Daddy's going to get his right. pocket knife. To Trusty open. pocket knife. Uh, we're going to open up this one here. You right? Yeah, the plastic was a little sharp. Plastic was sharp. Yeah, it's got an interesting um, way the, uh, the shrink's been done on this one. But that's okay. We're going to open her up. We will take care of that one there. Well, we're nearly full when I just take the pocket. <laughs> it nearly fell, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, and where does the plastic go? There's some floor. On the floor. Uh, and in the end, we're going to put it in the bin. Are we? Yes. Okay, we are. We're going to put it in the bin. And just right. play for 30 minutes. 30 Plastic. minutes. We're going to open the box. There we and go. Yes, I think this is the rule book. Yeah, hang on. What we might do, we'll have it. hold the rule book up so everyone can see it. Nice bright colours. Does it look like it's going to be... Oh, there, yeah, there is quite a few rules in here. It's actually quite, uh, quite a big rule book considering that it's actually, I think it's all about uh, placement of things. Um, this game is a little bit uh, Sushi Go element as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's a bit Sushi Go in that you have a, it's a set collecting game at its yes, core and, uh, and laying out bits and pieces of the house yes, as you build the rooms. And if you like um, have a look on YouTube, you'll see our Sushi Roll video that we did. Well, actually, the Sushi Roll video has been done and has been uploaded, but you can only access it if you're one of our patrons at the moment. Uh, it will be going live a little bit later down the track, but if you want early access, Charlotte makes a good point. Get on board and support us. We've started shipping our first lot of game crates as well, uh, which is something that we're doing as well. People are getting little surprises in the mail now, which is very cool. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do, though, we're going to get in close and show you what's in the box. So just give us a moment. All right, so now we've got a bit of a top-down view happening. That's the rule book there, so you can see what we're talking about. Um, quite a lot of colour and elements as well uh, in there too, which is pretty amazing. Uh, lots of rules, a high colour gloss. Really well produced, actually. Um, quite, uh, I mean, quite good components that Asmodee is known for. Uh, I believe they have a, a, an app version of this as well. Asmodee does a lot of um, application building. Ooh. Wow, what have we got here? The player boards and it's four player boards. Four. Four player boards is brick. So it must play up to four players. That's right, two to four players, and you get your player boards there, and you have to build. From what I understand, you can build here on the first floor at the start of the game. You can't build on these spaces until you've got something on the ground floor, and obviously you can't build on the top until you have something on all those spaces built in. So you have to sort of build, uh, like you do in Monopoly, do an even build as such. Now, this yeah. Charlotte said there was four. Yes, different cool. player boards. They all look exactly the same. There's even a little black cat there, which is kind of cool. Like <gasps> that. We'll put those to the side. Ow. What do we hear about the punch boards? Have a look. Punch boards. Punch, punch, punch. Now, these are uh, different luxury items that you can put in uh, to the board. So pictures and things, they give you bonus points throughout the course of the game. And on the back, it's got the different score tiles there as well. 
this looks like it's a bit of a player aid, uh, which is quite cool. Should we pop one of these out? Yeah. What do you want to pop out of the bird house? I'm going to do it. Yeah, pop one out for me. Let's pop it out. Oh, that's cool. I know. Everybody Good. loves ice cream. So let's Everybody go. loves ice cream. That is very, very true. Oh, this one's go hard. The They're very thick. We'll put yeah. the rest of them to the side, the punch boards. Can boys. I hand it out? Hold it up. Hold it right up high. Right up high. You can't get that high. Here we go. I can't Put it there get for that you. High. Nice, uh, nice. The, the, the punch board is actually really, really thick. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. It's actually really thick and really durable. Uh, and there's a high quality cartoon art. But one thing I want to talk about before you take that out, Charlotte, hang on. What is that? The board, the box, I should say, has got this little brick uh, pattern insert to hold all the components. I don't know if you can see that there, the detail. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, because... That's really cool. Um, where we have has to have some bricks to hold it up, doesn't it? Well, it could be made of sticks or bricks, depending on which uh, little pig you Ooh, are. Look what I have found. What have you got there? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's so the main board, isn't it? it so this is the main board that you use to throw all the cards out on the display. Uh, on your turn, you'll elect to take these two cards, these two cards, these two cards, these two cards, these two cards. If you elect to take this card here at the bottom, uh, you also take the first player marker as well. Uh, so you'll take the first turn in the next round. Again, nice artwork. It's obviously a building uh, planning stage, so that's why it's designed uh, that way. Um, yeah, that's quite cool. I like it. And and paper clips and things. Oh, well. here we go. What have you got there, Charlotte? Hold on, so I can see. The score book. Score book? Score pads? Yeah. Yeah, we have some of those in games. Yeah, we do. So it keeps the total running score like total for each individual Earthworm. player. Earthworm? Earthworm? Um, Daddy Room, that game where. Oh, Terror Below. Yeah, yeah Terror that's Below. got some score sheets in there as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like that. Very lots, lots, lot, a, lot, a high sheet count, I should say, as well, which is cool. First player marker. It looks like a house, isn't it? Oh, well, that's funny because we're building houses, isn't it? Up. Hold up, so everyone can see you nice close up on that one. You got it. Good job. We'll get up nice and close there. Nice and big and thick and durable. Obviously designed so that um, small hands can can get close to it as well, which is cool. Ooh, wow. Cards. Oh, we need our knife again. Do we need the knife or can we rip it open? Let's have a look and see what we've got here. They do have pull tags on them. Ah, oh, cool. Charlotte, you know what this means? It means you get to throw plastic on the floor. Now, it looks like there might be two different sets of cards. No, but yeah, they're, they're all the same. I thought they might be two different languages, but they're not. Okay, so we've got a card set that is I'm just, just set one of two. I'm just, I'm just gonna open up yeah, that's all right. Yeah. There's a little cards there so you can see um, which ones they are. The cards aren't anything special, they're not um oh, it's right. you got it? It. they're reasonably durable, there's nothing too special about the stock. Um, there's different tools you can use, obviously different rooms, different roof tiles as well. If you collect a full set of roof colours of the same you get a bonus eight points I think it is and obviously different tiles of the same colour add can points as well. Yeah, we'll open that one. That's not a problem. And then I'm going to have a look through mine. Okay, you can have a look through yours while I talk about my one. And then you can talk through your set as well. And I think we'll find there might be some duplicates. So hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Hang on. Plastic goes off on the floor. So let's go through some of the tools oh. here. Yeah, that's a blank one. We'll put that over there. We don't need that. So the tools, you've got things like the concrete mix, obviously they give you different bonuses. And they're literally just tools that give you bonuses and help you um, with your placement, uh, moving rooms around to suit handymans and things that get you extra bonus points. Suppliers give you bonus points at the end of the game. Uh, roofers that can help you replace your roof tiles and things like that as well, which is cool. Architect, that's obviously something that's gonna be very valuable. Uh, the architect, uh, each empty room on your home board is worth one point at the end of the game, so that actually allows you to get bonus points for places you don't fill in or complete. That's very cool. Um, and then we've got all the different rooms and amenities, so things like the tree house, which is an extra, gives you extra bonus points. You get two points for things like the hot tub. Uh, that's cool too. Uh, shelving for the garage. You punch that out and grab that, and you'll get an extra uh, bonus point as well at the end of the game. And then there's the all-important ice cream that Charlotte uh, punched out earlier. Two points in the kitchen if you have that. Okay, I just sorted out my um, kitchen ones and 
So I'm going to show you. Hang on, let me get through this one first because these are roof tiles here. I'm just going to put the... So if you have all the different roof tiles in the same colour, you get eight points. And if you have this one as one of them, you get a bonus point for having that window in the roof or the attic as well, which is very cool. Um, the tiny roof tiles that you've got here obviously allow for um, fitting on the board, making the board a little bit smaller, making it easy to all fit in the box. I'm just going to throw that one. Um, but that's quite cool. Them. I like that. I like Daddy, that. And they've got a nice pattern on them. Uh, different rooms, living rooms and things. Yes, we can. We're sorting out piles as we go, uh, which is probably not a good thing because it means when you play the game and lay out the cards, they're all going to be the same room, but that's all right. Uh, so the idea is if you collect a set of a room, you can have uh, one card of a room, two cards of a room, or three cards of the room in this case, and for each room it's connected, i.e. if you have uh, two cards, two living room cards together side by side, you get four points for that room. If you get three together, you'll get nine points at the end uh, of the game. So there is a bit of um, strategy. There's a set collection element I talked about, like Sushi Go. Um, but I think the idea of the planning and placement obviously is key because if you don't have something in those bottom spaces that we talked about on the board, um, as I mentioned here, if you don't have something in these bottom spaces, um, then you're not going to be able to potentially maximize the space here early on. So there's a bit of strategy in your placement there as well. Charlotte's been sorting out her cards. She's got uh, things like pantries, you can uh, try them bedrooms. Up, Daddy, if you want. What's this one? This is a study here. Let's try and put them on the map for me, now. So okay, we can... No, no, you're right. It's all good. Don't have to apologize. It's all good. Let's see. Ah, oh, that's the room we need to be in. This one is a game room, and it is literally uh, filled with board games, billiards, that sort of stuff as well. That is the game room we all dream we could have. Um, and I like that there's a big uh, hexagonal table there. Uh, and it looks like they've got a bit of dream home game set up on the table, which is very cool. I like that. That's good. We've got kitchen, bathroom. <laughs> we need a bathroom. The bathroom uh, has um, someone in the bath, obviously, with their leg out. I don't know if you can see that on there. That's very, very cool. Uh, the artwork is a little bit tongue-in-cheek, a bit cartoony, but I like that. It's a nice style. It's very cool. Uh, and each of the room cards is different as well. Um, while they have sort of their own sort of style, there's also this messy, messy bathroom, which obviously is a kid's bathroom. Um, it's got toilet paper, uh, toilet paper and everything else rolling around on the floor um, and people making a mess and the little step stool that to get up to the sink to turn the taps on, which is not too dissimilar to our own bathroom in this house that we are in right now. Isn't that right, Charlotte? But that's okay. Well, they that's have good found fun. some dark ones. These ones yeah, these ones are the dark borders. They're meant to go underneath. So things like, oh, that's fantastic. So the ones with the darker border, the cards with dark borders, they're meant to go in the uh, the base of the house, so in the cellar area. Yes, yes, yes. Including a wine cellar, which is very cool. I like that. Oh, yes, And yes. if you pick a set of cards and you can't place a card for whatever reason, the rule, the rule restrictions won't let you do it, uh, you can place it. Uh, face down uh, as an empty room and obviously it won't score you any points at the end of the game unless you have the architect as we saw earlier. Charlotte's a bit excited so uh, what have you got I here? always wanted a playroom. You've got a playroom. We've made you a playroom in this yeah. house. So Charlotte's excited because there's lots of playroom cards as well. Uh, things oh, like day beds. Um, oh the... wow look at that. There's a playroom with a dirty, a dirty great big uh, rocket ship play set that you and can use. Different living room cards. Okay. Can you reach? I've put it up too high, haven't I? Oh yeah, look, look. teepees. There's a teepee. That's awesome. I love it. So many cards. There's a lot of cards here, isn't there, Charlotte? And there's... I might have to turn it upside down though. Yeah, I've got it. What one's this one? This is the living room with the dirty great big TV. We like that. That's very cool. And that was the oh, living room one that oh, Charlotte was trying to show oh. you earlier. Okay, so there's... Daddy oh, we're not going to go through all the cards because there's just so many. Oh, yeah. So, so we're going to... Like, we're going to stop there and we're going to tell you about the game. What? Dad, what do you think about the game? What do I think about it? We haven't played it yet, so that's obviously something we've got to consider. But at the same time, um, I wasn't expecting, I mean, I sort of had an idea that the components were going to be a high quality, because that's what Asmodee and obviously Rebel are known for. Um, 
I am interested to get it to the table. I've heard a lot of people say, or the, 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 what I know of the game, it's designed obviously for younger gamers, but I think there's a bit of strategy here for older players as well. I what do you think? Even, I, I am going to ask you, I'm leading to that right now, I want to hear exactly what your thoughts are on the game and what you think uh, you'll get out of it. What do you reckon? Um, so I like um, this token because it has like... Because you, this gives you like ice cream. No, and because I like that because it makes ice cream and you don't just have to scoop it up yourself and your arms get tired. You want us to get an ice cream maker? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and I Looks like... Looks like I'm going to get back on eBay later. I like... I like um, the... Um, the box is cool, the, isn't it? I like the arting of the box. The arting of the box, yeah, it's awesome. The way they and put the, like, it's not just the plastic insert, they've really thought about it. It's not just like just one colour, it's beautiful, it's just all different kinds of colours. You know what, Charlotte, I think you bang on the money. Um, it's actually, it, it is quite beautiful in terms of the colour scheme, it's very calming. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's got a sense of fun to it, which is great, whether the gameplay is... You know, neither here nor there. And, For older gamers, the, I still think it's really like I really like it. Cards have the same amount of numbers, but some have, and they like how the pictures on the back, like that's an empty room and there's paint brushes. Yeah, because and... there's nothing in there yet. Yeah. Got a spare room. They can fill it with their junk when they move in. Oh. Just it's like, not junk. Well, it's like our spare room. We've got it full of junk at the moment, don't we? We're no, we have not. That. It's not full of junk. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. We've sort of gone through all the components yes, of Dream have. Home. We're just going to get the box. That's this one here. That's what do you think? Really all we know. Yeah, it's lots we know about it. The, the only thing that's left to do is to literally give it a spin and see what you think when we play it for real. Yeah. Um, this looks like it's going to be one so, for the whole family to play, which will be good. So we might have a little bit, and then when we think about it, we might come back to you and have a little play with you if you. We'll do a playthrough at some stage, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, keep checking back to the Facebook page, uh, as well as obviously Instagram, uh, all that sort of stuff as well. Uh, live shows going up all the time now. We're sort of trying to do one every fortnight, I think. Um, Charlotte is going back to school, obviously now that restrictions are starting yes. to ease. And if... Which means we might not see her as often on the videos. However, no. when we do get a chance to yeah. do some videos, um, if, we'll go from the... there. And, and bye-bye. Well, hang on. Before we say bye, I've got a question for everyone out there. Oh, yeah? And the question is this. Uh, if you would like to see Charlotte host her own section of our YouTube channel and basically just take over the Game Link Junior aspect herself and do her own presentations on her own, which I think she's very capable of. She's a bit shy. Um, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments below uh, if you think Charlotte should give it a crack as being a solo host and doing well, some fun stuff. I... I'm six now. Oh, because she's six, I reckon she can handle it. And I think it'd be a great yeah, way for other gamers of her age to get involved as well. all the little ones out there, you might want to sit on the couch and watch me do my own video. Okay, well there you go. I'm going to get kicks of the curve and yeah. the new host is coming up here, but that's right. If you'd like and to see that, folks, please make sure you pop that in the comments below and obviously subscribe to the channel to make sure you stay up to date with everything we post <laughs> and whenever we post a new video and whenever we go live. Uh, if you haven't clicked onto the Patreon, stuff have a look because it's worth it the game crates we started shipping out a nice little game delivery every day uh, not every day every month and uh, if you stick with us for 12 months then you get something extra special in the box as well um, but having said that that's probably all it's, it's, that's the unboxing of dream home uh, check back uh, we'll see you next time and until then may all your games be good ones stay safe we'll see you back at the table bye bye. very soon bye for now